Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Divi in itself is a fantastic theme. It just keeps getting better and better. I've designed so many sites with it over the years. It's just crazy. Um, and if you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you take a look at it. You can take it for a test drive from my affiliate link below this video. Today, we're going to be using a free plugin. And the plugin's called Divi Supreme Modules. And if you go to your dashboard, to your plugins, just simply hit Add New and put the word Supreme in there and hit enter it'll come up right there Divi Supreme modules and like I say it's free mine's already active because I've got it installed on this site but that's the plugin we'll be using for this video okay today we're going to work on this typing effect which is a another great little feature of the Supreme plugins we've got a little headline text up the top there and a little box that's typing a paragraph of text below it and as you can see it's growing as it types so let's get started this is really easy to do first thing I'm going to do for a change is enable the visual builder and again we'll build this all on the front end okay let's go down to where we want to build it I'll move that one up out of the way because it's pretty distracting, but it is it's going to catch people's eyes, which is the great thing about it. So I've got a row here, which is one third and two thirds. I'm going to add a module inside it. Hit the little black button there. Scroll on down. And it's the last module in this great free plugin here. And as you can see, it's started typing the regular text that's in there at the moment. So let's put in something that we want. As soon as you open it up, it's going to open this up, the text at the top in the content tab. And I'm just going to write the sale starts today. Now if we move on down, typing options. You can have it use a loop, which is what it's doing at the moment, which is pretty effective. If you turn it off, it just stays there once it's typed, but the cursor stays blinking. That'll still catch the eye, but I think the loop is a little more effective. So I'm going to turn that back on. Typing speed, I'm fairly happy with that. The speed that it's actually typing those, it's sort of, your eye can follow it quite easy and discern those words. So I'll leave that. Typing back speed, again, I'll leave that as the default. In fact, I might even slow that down a little bit. Let's put it the same as the typing speed. I'm just going to type in 100. It'll put the milliseconds in there for you. Back delay. Now, that's the time that it takes the delay once it's typed the words out, how long it takes to actually start back typing so let's put in if you roll this up all the way it'll only go up to two seconds which is 2000 milliseconds you can type in whatever value you want if it's not enough for you so I'm gonna make this pretty long I'm gonna make it say 10 seconds which would be 10,000 milliseconds there we go so that will now wait 10 seconds before it backspaces. And while we're waiting, I'm going to go over to the design tab. And let's change the cursor color in typing styles here. I'm going to make it green. That's the same color as I'm going to have for our text. Then the actual text itself is a title text. And it is an H1. You can change the font if you want to. I'm going to leave it as this default font. 
but I'm going to make it a lot heavier. I'm going to I think ultra bold will be too much. Yeah, I think I'm going to go just regular bold is what I did with the other one. And I want it to be capitalized. I want it to be centralized. I want it to be green. As a sort of sail go color and I want it to be a lot bigger. Something like that, maybe even a bit too big. Let's try 40 pixels. Great, job done. Hit the save button. Now I did this initially and thought, well, I wonder how much text you can actually put in. I mean, will it do a whole paragraph? So I tried that and it works out quite well with a paragraph. So if we just go down and hit the plus button again, add another module. We'll add the same one again. As you can see, it's put in what it did last time, which is this. I thought, well, let's put a paragraph of text in there. So I went to lipsum.com, which is dummy text, and I grabbed a paragraph. Just copied that and put it in here. And lo and behold, it starts typing out the whole paragraph, which I thought was pretty cool. But uh, a little bit big. Now the typing options, I want it to speed up slightly with that. So let's just take this up because I want it sort of reasonably fast reading speed. Not too fast. 50. Something like that. You make your own mind up, obviously. Back speed up. And I don't want it to take all day to do that, so I want it to be a lot quicker. Say 10. Now the delay, don't want it quite as long as this, but let's say oof, three seconds, 3000 milliseconds. You can link this text if you want to, or link this module if you want to, and change the background. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Typing styles, I'm gonna leave that as it is dark like that. Text, actually it's the title text we want which is this one, make that a lot smaller, more like, you know, regular paragraph text. So let's take it down to something like 16 or, yeah, that's fine. And I want a bit more space between the lines. Line height, I get about 1.5, I should think do it. There we go. That's pretty cool. And all I did with the top one, just to make it stand out a bit more, was put a little box around it with a drop shadow. Obviously that's entirely up to you, but very easy to do. Just click on the module settings. Let's roll that up, get the top one out of the way. And simply go to design. I'm going to have to give it a bit of padding because if I put a box around it now, it'll be on the on the actual writing itself. Well, let's do it and I'll show you. So I'm going to go to border. Let's select that one, which is all the borders at once. You can do separate if you want to this way. Uh, let's say two pixels. And as you can see, it's sort of cramping the writing right there because we've got no padding in there, but we'll adjust that in a moment. And I'll use the same green as the sale price. Solid's fine. And well, actually, why don't we make no, we'll leave it as solid. And a box shadow, I just simply used that one right there. Okay, let's move on down to spacing or move up to spacing. And I think I gave it 20 pixels. Just type your value in there, it'll put pixels automatically. Hit the link, it'll put in 
the opposite, top, bottom. Same with this one, left, link, right. There we go. And that's done. And that's a eye-catching little effect there. The only other thing that you might possibly want to do, see that's full there, so say about 200, is you could give that box a minimum height so it doesn't grow as it's typing. At the moment, it's growing as it's typing. I kind of like that. But if you wanted it to be a sort of fixed height, you could go in there and just add a little bit of custom CSS. And it'd be the main element. And you could put in something like min height, min height. I'm guessing around 200 pixels. That way the box should stay the same height all the time. But that's just an option. I, I kind of like it growing actually, but there you go. There's another option for you. And save. Exit the Visual Builder. And there's our little typing box. Like I say, I think that's a pretty cool little effect. It's certainly going to catch people's eyes when they look at your site. So if you've got a little announcement or something that you want to grab people's attention with, that's going to do it. So there you have it. Using the Divi Supreme Modules plugin. It's free, so why not use it? I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there. We've also got some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.